When this show was first announced, I was concerned. A video game TV show being put on Netflix is usually a recipe for a bad match. Slowly but surely, we saw more and more of the Cuphead show over the last few years until it finally released. Was it good? Have you, uh, I've not read the title, of course it's good. The Cuphead Show is an anthology series based on the video game Cuphead. And my swells, it is so good! I really liked how every single villain from the show, well, almost every single, single villain, is exactly what you thought they are gonna be. The Frog Brothers are big old 1930s gang stars. The Food Patch people are exactly as shady as they look. And shoutouts to King Dice, the voice actor really pulled him off well. He's actually really one of my favorite characters of the show, even though he only he was in one episode. Yeah, this is the only gripe I have with this show. Miss Chalice and King Dice don't show up nearly as often as the promos led you to believe. Same thing with the devil. I mean, he does appear every now and then, but I think in total six, five episodes out of the 12 he appears in. Which is fine, since this show is more of an anthology series. Anthology being that everything is not really connected or canon in any way. Because the show is based off of 1930s early rubber animation. And mwah, it is beautiful. Was it 1930s or 1950s? Hmm. The show looks amazing. The five... Was it five years? Hold on a second. I think 2018 was when, is when it was announced. The point is, it's been in development for a long time and the animation is worth it. I mean, look at the trailers. You're basically seeing what you're getting. Nice 1930s rebel hose animation lost into time brought back in the modern age, and I just gotta say, this animation is as good as this amiibo. And the game this thing came from is pretty good. What I'm trying to say is, uh, the animation's god tier. But how good are the jokes? I say they were pretty good. I actually laughed at a lot of them. Not a lot of episodes land, but, eh. You would have some hits and miss, and besides, the show is funny. One thing I don't like, the finale. Spoilers, by the way. Cuphead and Mugman get arrested. It's actually way more dramatic than it looks. It's actually the only episode that Chalice appeals out of freaking nowhere. But apparently we're gonna get that in season two. Yes, season two has been confirmed. I am looking forward to it. Overall, I give the Cuphead show a B rank. Whether it's the 1930s Rebel Hose animation or the fact that we're seeing Cuphead in its natural habitat, since the game itself was based on 1930s animation, it is a god tier show that you should watch. Is it for everyone? Kind of. But if you're a fan of Cuphead and classic old Mickey Mouse cartoons with a bit of modern day jokes, did I say day right? Then you're in for a treat. Also, I'm very sorry I'm not my usual hyper high pitched Mr. Galaxy voice. Uh, it's currently 12 o'clock at night. I just finished binging through the Cuphead show. I was just gonna watch one episode, but uh, I ended up watching the whole thing and, uh, yeah. <laughs> Ma, if you're watching this, it was my mistake. I was watching a really good show. So, yeah, I want to get my review, my thoughts out. Just like that. Because this is what I usually do when I'm done finishing something instantly. I just write down the script and just go with it.